Hi, this is Mary Ellen Schneider with Oncology Stat. We're here at the American Society of Clinical Oncology annual meeting in Chicago, and I'm joined by Dr. Hyman Muss of the University of Vermont. Dr. Muss just presented results of his study, a randomized trial of more than 600 elderly women. This study showed that standard chemotherapy treatment was superior to the use of the oral agent capecitabine. Hi. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Can you tell us if you were surprised by these results? We actually were. Uh, we designed this as a equivalence trial, uh, hoping to show that uh, capecitabine was equivalent to standard chemotherapy, so we would have an oral chemotherapy option uh, that would be very effective in older patients. And so the results were came as somewhat of a surprise to us. What will be next for you in terms of of the research in terms of treatment for women, um, is capecitabine appropriate for any subset of women, or is this the final story for these elderly patients? Well, that's, that's an excellent question. Capecitabine is currently being tested uh, in Europe in a large trial uh, versus no therapy in older women with early stage breast cancer. So it's going to tell us what is the role of capecitabine alone. That trial has accrued substantial numbers of patients, over 700 patients. And so we'll there get the answer, is capecitabine better than no therapy? Our trial, it's very hard to answer the question, is capecitabine better than any therapy? It's not what we did. Uh, hopefully the European trial will show some benefit uh, for patients taking it because there may be a subset of patients perhaps who are frailer or can't handle IV therapy where this would still be a good choice. But right now we don't have the, the data. Can you also tell us a little bit about um, this group of elderly patients? They're not often studied. What right. do they look like? So I think your question points to the fact that some of us who are interested in geriatric oncology uh, find uh, so important, and that is that if you look at breast cancer, at least in uh, Western Europe and the United States, the average age is about 64. And uh, most women who die of breast cancer now in the United States, United Kingdom, Europe, are 65 and older. And our populations are aging to boot. So we have a huge segment of the population of breast cancer that really don't get in our clinical trials and aren't really, uh, many of them aren't getting the opportunity to improve their chances for cure for breast cancer. This group of patients in our study were women 65 years and older. They tended to be a little higher risk than one might see in all patients in that age group in a population. Uh, most had positive lymph nodes. Uh, many had what we call hormone receptor negative tumors. So they were a little skewed to the higher risk patients to study. But they were all very healthy. Uh, we have data on their coexisting illnesses, which is very important in treatment decision. These were basically healthier women, and, uh, but they were at high risk for recurrence, as indicated that now, after two and a half years of follow-up, about 15% of patients have met our criteria for recurrence. The other question I wanted to ask you about is adherence. Um, with elderly patients, medication right. adherence can be a problem. When you, is that, was that at all a factor looking at the performance of cafecitabine? Yeah, it's a great question. It, it's possible it is related to some of the performance. Uh, I think the issue with oral, oral, oral agents for any disease, whether it's high blood pressure or cancer, there's probably a substantial non-adherence population. Certainly if you look at studies done on older people in the United States, many who take numerous medications, adherence is a major issue. So I think what, what we have in this study is an electronic pill bottle device where we could get some data on adherence and it was about 85 percent, which we feel is pretty reasonable in keeping with some of the better numbers are of adherence uh, for our patients. And it was six cycles of therapy, unlike tamoxifen and other drugs which you can take for years uh, for use in this setting. So it could have related to the outcome, uh, and it's something that not possible to answer, but that said, I don't think it's possible to do a study with oral therapy that's going to get 95% plus adherence unless we send all of us to the patient's home, uh, like maybe taking care of my mother-in-law to get her pills and putting it in their hand, taking her into the kitchen and watching them swallow it. Mm -hmm. So I think in this study we have very good data that way, but that said, yes, it could be related. 
Terrific. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This is Mary Ellen Schneider with Oncology Stat reporting from the ASCO meeting in Chicago.